my entertaining universe. So I know that this may sound like really bad or whatever you want to classify it as, but there's always, it's not just about the presents for me on on my birthday every year or, or Christmas, but Christmas is a whole nother story. For my birthday, the, there's a couple of things that I look forward to the most. And it's, you know, it's the way I dress, even though, you know, I dress however I, the hell I want every single day, you know, it's not, it's not just about the, you know, asking for, you know, gift cards or clothing or, or, or video games or whatever it may be. It's so, about so much more than that for me. It's, it's about, you know, I'm not saying I, I, you know, wear a dress shirt or pants or anything like that. I will wear wherever I want. Now, I know my birthday is not till Saturday, which is like two days away or a day and a half, less than a day and, or about a day and a half left until my birthday. It's about eating the cake. It's about figuring out what I want to have for that dinner. It's about, it's also about presents as well, you know, it's about what I want to wear. It's, there's so many things that go into my birthday. Now, I know age, age is just a number for most of you, and it is for me as well. I know 32 is not, you know, a big age to turn, and I don't know why I use air quotes there. It's just, that day is special. And I know a lot of you have unpopular opinions of birthdays are overrated and unless you're turning a certain age like 18 or whatever your your um, your opinion is on that. That's fine. You do you. I'm just saying, you know, there are certain ages that are more memorable than others. I will grant you that. And I've said that time and time again on this channel. Ages, I don't care how old I get or how young I am or whatever, whatever side of things you're on. If you want to use the term years old or if you want to use the term years young, fine. You do you. What I'm saying is that, look, I know I'm going to be 32. I know that, you know, age is just a number. But what I'm saying, I'm also saying in this video is, look, I've, you know, excuse me, sorry for you, sorry for you, I just woke up, and I apologize for that, and look, I can't wait to have the cake that I'm going to get tomorrow, I can't wait to, you know, I, I've already thought of what I want to eat for dinner on Saturday for my birthday dinner. And that is, you know, breakfast for dinner. And now I know breakfast for dinner is not really a dinner dinner. But I'm just saying that's what I want to eat. And I want to talk about my birthday because it's important to me. It may not be important to you guys who, you know, don't really want to don't really care about birthdays anymore or anything like that. I'm just saying for me personally on Saturday, which is today, Thursday, two, a day and a half away until I turn 32. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to wear. Maybe something else or maybe something like this. I can't really, you know, definitively say what I'm going to wear on my birthday on Saturday. I know which kind of cake I want to get, which I'm going to get tomorrow, which is a Reese's peanut butter ice cream cake. Because I love peanut butter cu cups. I've always loved them. And I know that's classified as candy. I understand that. I'm just saying, that's probably the, about the only candy I will, even though it's, you know, I'm not going to eat candy every every time. I only eat candy maybe once or twice a year. That's it. And 
I don't really eat it. Plain and simple. On Halloween the other day, I eat candy. That's it. Those are the only two times of the year. But that's beside the point. I'm not trying to say, you know, candy's bad or anything like that. I'm just saying I don't like to eat candy and I rarely eat it, to be honest with you. So, so that's the plan. I want to have a good birthday. I probably, I probably will have a good birthday because it's my birthday, first and foremost. And everyone should celebrate their birthday however they want to, whatever age they are turning. Whether you're turning, you know, five years old or you're turning 95 years old or 100 years old. Celebrate your birthday however however you want to celebrate it. With family around you, with friends around you, whatever it is. But do it in a safe manner because we are technically still in the middle of a pandemic right now as we speak. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to go crazy and invite hundreds and hundreds of people to a birthday celebration or whatever you want to do. If it's just an intimate thing where it's just your parents and yourself or your parents and your brothers and yourself or very close friends, then do it. I'm not saying, you know, don't celebrate your birthday. Just do it in a respectful manner. And I can't wait for my birthday on Saturday. And I'll talk more about it on Saturday when it's actually my birthday. So there's that. What else do I want? I don't, I don't think, I think that was all I wanted to talk to you guys about is what the plan is for Saturday. And look, I ask for things, doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to get those presents or get anything for my birthday or get anything for Christmas. I'm just saying I suggested what I wanted to get. Doesn't necessarily mean that you get those things on your birthday or anything similar to those things on your birthday or for Christmas either. My birthday is Saturday, though. I want to make that perfectly clear. Anyways, with that being said, let's do, uh, let's do, I, I wanted, I really wanted to talk about what I wanted to eat that day and it, what I want to dress up, dress, what, what I want to wear and stuff like that, and that's what, what was important in this vlog. So, let's do this. So I want to wish uh, Maisie Williams a happy birthday, Aspen Ovard Ferris a happy 25th, Cherry Wallace a happy birthday, and uh, Emma Watson a happy birthday as well. Those are all the birthdays I've got for today. I will see you tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog, and ciao.